Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious Haitian mac and cheese. I think it's also called a gratin. Um, and this is my take on it. So let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. So for today's recipe, we're gonna be using um, penne pasta, evaporated milk, a tablespoon of butter, Parmesan cheese, onions, bell peppers, I'm using orange and red, garlic, Parmesan cheese again, sharp cheddar cheese and for seasoning I'm using black pepper, badia and the adobo. So in a hot pot I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter and as soon as I have your butter added and it's melting then we're also gonna go ahead to that same pot and we're gonna add our onions followed by our bell peppers. So we're gonna saute this for about a few seconds so we're gonna saute this together like I mentioned guys. We just wanna go ahead and mix the flavors, the ingredients together to get the flavors added to it before we add our pasta to it. So you're gonna mix it just around for a few seconds and then after that we're gonna go ahead and add our cooked penne pasta. So I'm just using one box of pasta which is equal to one pound guys. So we're gonna go ahead and add the pasta to the mixture and we're also gonna go ahead and stir that in and just get everything incorporated. So at this point guys, we have everything mixed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and add half a can of evaporated milk. I'm only using one can for this recipe. So I'm gonna add half of the can first to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix it in together. Again. All right, so at this point, once we have everything mixed in, guys, that's where you're gonna go ahead and season to taste. As I told you before, I'm gonna be using in mind some black pepper. I'm also going to use some of the adobo and I'm going to go ahead and put a liberal amount, again, seasoned to your liking, and then I'm going to add some of the body of seasoning. So you add your body or you add anything else, any other seasons that you may like. I like these three in this because I don't want to overpower what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that in, guys, have everything incorporated together, and then at this point I'll go ahead and add my cheese. So first I'm going to go ahead and add my sharp cheddar cheese, and in this pot I'm using half a cup so far i'm going to add the half a cup of cheddar and then to that i'm going to go ahead and add some um more cheddar cheese to it and then i will go ahead and mix it in a little bit and add some parmesan cheese to that and then mix all in together now at this point you definitely do want to taste to make sure it is seasoned to your liking. And now I'm adding some more milk to it, guys, just so I can use up my can of milk. Some people use the entire can, some don't. I like to use the entire can, and then I'll mix it all together. Now I'm going to go ahead and transfer this now, guys, into my baking dish. I'm using a glass baking dish for this just so that I can have it evenly spread it out. To the top of it, I'm also going to go ahead and add some more cheese as we go through. So I spread it out guys and I'm going to go ahead and add some more cheddar cheese to the top and then I'm also going to go ahead and add the leftover Parmesan cheese that I have and evenly spread it out. Once my cheese is added, I'll pop it into an oven for 45 minutes to an hour at 350 degrees. Then we have this beautiful and delicious baked mac and cheese, Haitian way. Hope you guys follow my recipe. I do hope you like it. Again, hit the like, subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching.